everyone! Today I'm talking about TBRs, and not specifically more TBRs coming up in the near future. I'm talking about the extensive TBRs that a lot of us have. Like, I have over a hundred books on my TBR right now to read at any point in time. So what I decided to do was make a list of seven vampire books that are currently on my future TBR that I do not actually have physical copies of because I, I don't read a book if I don't have a physical copy, right? So I decided to take seven of those books and I'm going to talk to you about them today. These All seven of these books I am, for one reason or another, pretty excited to read. Uh, if, uh, if it's like a new book or it's a well-received book or it's just something new I haven't exposed myself to. That's what this video is about today, so let's jump right in. I'm going to start the list off with the highest rated of the seven books on Goodreads currently, and that is Until the Sun by Chandler Morrison. This book has currently, as of this video, an average of 4.52 stars on Goodreads. Very, very good. It is out of only 23 ratings so far, though. It is a relatively newer book. It is also a self-published book. Look at the cover. I mean, the, the cover alone drew me in. I'm just like, I have to read this thing. The book itself is about a 15-year-old boy whose absolutely horrible foster parents are murdered by a group of vampires, and those same vampires give him the opportunity to become one himself. According to the blurb, the book also deals with the struggles of a traumatic adolescence, the concepts of good and evil, uh, inner demons, and being young and alienated in modern society, which would obviously struck a, strike a chord with a lot of people. And uh, I think that's why a lot of people, well, those who have read it so far, enjoy it and uh, can't wait to get my hands on it. Book number two on this list is a classic. And I know I said I'm not too fond of classics, but I love the history of vampire fiction. And that is Carmilla by Joseph Sheridan Lefanu. As of this video, the book has an average of 3.82 stars on Goodreads, and it is a book about a young woman who is seduced by a female vampire. It is, the book is considered to be a pioneer in terms of LGBTQ uh, vampire fiction, uh, considering how old the book is, that's not too surprising. And um, the, the version I'm showing right here is just which is the one that i plan on buying is what's called the critical edition it's an edition of the book that is um, specifically set up for students of literary classics so there's some essays in there for them to be exact and they are all um, by leading theoretical literary scholars uh, it also contains glossary, a bibliography, biography, and explanatory notes. So it's not only a good read just from the fact that it's a classic, but it's also an edition of the book that is very, um, very good for students in general. So if you are students, maybe you'd want to pick this one up too. Next is The Vampire Wish by Michelle Maddow, which as of this video has a 3.86 average uh, stars on Goodreads. It is a self-pub book. It is the first book in a series. Um, there are six books in the series, counting the prequel. The book follows the protagonist called Anika, who is kidnapped and brought to the hidden vampire kingdom called Vale, and is made a vampire blood slave, essentially. We could, we could probably guess what that entails, <laughs> but it is a uh, young adult paranormal romance, so it's not too out there. This next book is by a Canadian author, and that is Enter Night by Michael Rowe. As of this video, the book has an average of 3.52 stars on Goodreads. The book takes place in 1972 in Pars Landing, a mining town in northern Ontario. I, I haven't actually ta taken a look to see if this town actually exists or if it's purely fictional. There are two characters that return to this town that both used to live there previously. And, um, yeah, they discover there's a 300-year-old vampire that's been sleeping there, and said vampire goes on a murderous rampage. This one is probably, uh, more well-known, whether you, you like it or not. 
uh, when it comes to vampire books, and that is Anno Dracula by Kim Newman. This has an average of 3.78 stars in Goodreads, and um, it is an alternate history series. This is, uh, this is uh, of the same name. The Anno Dracula is the first of several books in the series. And uh, the basic premise of the first book is Queen Victoria getting remarried to Count Dracula. If that doesn't pull you in, I don't know what does. To top that off, the story follows two characters, one who is a vampire, and together they are trying to solve the matter of the old uh, Jack the Ripper murders thing. So uh, that should prove interesting. Book number six is Lost Souls by Poppy Z. Bright, which has an average of 3.89 stars on Goodreads. The focus is on six characters, two groups of three, that meet in a nightclub in Missing Nile, North Carolina. And this nightclub is often frequented by vampires. Ghost, Anne, and Nothing make up one group. And Molokai, Twig, and Zila make up the second group. Now the blurb implies a road trip between these six characters and that one of the groups isn't very nice. <laughs> so uh, th this, uh, there's gonna be some shenanigans involved, both good and bad. It sounds quite interesting. It's another one of those books that was uh, in a lot of uh, top vampire book lists when I was looking this up a while ago. And finally, number seven, the seventh book in this video is the Golden by Lucius Shepard, which has an average of 3.47 stars on Goodreads. This book takes place in the 1860s, in which vampires have their own secret hidden society. And they were conducting uh, breeding experiments. And said experiments, after who knows how many generations, have yielded a, a young girl, a child they called The Golden which is a human who has blood that is very potent and very powerful. So the vampire aristocracy comes in together in order to partake of this extraordinary blood, only to learn that the young girl has been murdered and all her blood drained, and no one knows who did it. So the story follows an investigator who is himself a recently turned vampire, as he navigates through the worlds of crime and vampires in order to solve the case. There we go, there was a basic rundown of seven books, seven vampire books, on my TBR that I am excited to read and will eventually. Do you guys have any of these books on your TBR? What do you think? Are you excited? Have you heard of any of these? Let me know in the comments below. And with that, that is the end of the video. Have a good one, guys. Bye!